Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Neverwinter Nights. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here with Aribeth as we learn about our new mission for Chapter 2, I believe. Now that uh, we've found that Dazzler was in indubitably the traitor, and that Fanthic was indubitably an idiot that uh, got himself killed because he trusted a traitor and went after him, even though he revealed it's, it was a big mess. And Aribeth, she's actually holding herself together, I think, very, very well, considering the circumstances. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're here to, well, we, last episode we helped her a little bit, unburden herself of, of the doubts that, uh, well, not really unburden herself of the doubts, but the, the, the heavy, the, the heavy weight of having those doubts um, last episode. But, uh, yeah, let's, um, do you have any advice for me, Aribeth? I would suggest you speak to Eren Gend and find out where to focus your efforts in finding evidence of the cult. Eren Gend is back there. Uh, s thank you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I am pleased to see that you remain safe, my friend. Indeed. Lord Nasher tells me he is confident of your success, though I do worry at the danger in which you place yourself. Where... Where is Lord Nasher? How do you... How does he tell you these things? Have you yet discovered any new information on the cult? No, no, I have uh, some questions about the mission. Of course. Ask what you will of me. Don't talk like... Why do you... <clears throat> She's always so quick to anger. Well, she didn't really get angered, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, what are you and Aaron Gen going to be doing here while I search? I am here to see that Lord Nash's commands are carried out, while Aaron continues to use his network of spies to gain more information beyond Neverwinter's walls. Admittedly, my own role seems sparse. Part of me thinks that my Lord Nash simply wishes someone he trusts in this role, while another believes he does not wish to be reminded of Fenthic or my pain. Hmm. I... Does he not trust you? Regardless, we will do all that we can to help you. Do not think your efforts go unrecognized. Well, I wouldn't mind too much that, because he clearly trusts fools. Uh, but especially after our conversation with him, our short conversation with him, but yeah. So how do you propose I, I look for this cult? Aaron has several ideas on places where the cult may be hidden. Currently, he is working on finding a way into the city of Luskin. Its gates have been sealed since the plague in Neverwinter began. I suggest you talk to Eren about where these places might Indeed. be. Indeed. Search for any clues about the rise of ancient cults or odd activities. Once a way into Luskin is found, you can search there as well. So we are going to Luskin. Good. Okay. Port Lass is a different location. If we are fortunate, you will perhaps encounter some part of the cult and gain information as to who they are and where they are based. What should I do if I discover something. Any information you discover should be brought to Eren and myself. Once okay. we know more about the cult, Lord Nasha can decide what to do next. Uh, why are we not searching more in Neverwinter, though? The search does continue within the city. Oh. Indeed, Lord Nasha is having Neverwinter scoured thoroughly for more traces of the cult. Good. It is his feeling, however, that the true force of the cult lies outside of Neverwinter. Indeed. And that it is your efforts here that will prove the most valuable. Well, it's good that they're looking for uh, for that where they least expect it to, because it would be a you know hiding right under their noses. That'd be that'd be a shame. So yeah, at least at least that's really good. Uh, so, so just what do we know about this cult anyway? Dester appears to have been their link in Neverwinter, as you discovered. Yeah. But of the cult itself, we have been able to ascertain little. Eren is positive that its true heart lies outside of Neverwinter, and that it has yet to show us the extent of its strength. The task ahead of us will no doubt be most dangerous, but that makes it all the more necessary that we do not remain ignorant of what this cult is and what it intends. Okay, I want to ask you something else. Certainly. Uh, no, I'll go now. Go with Tyr's blessing, then, and be safe. Indeed. You as well. Or other stuff that you need to say when, you know, we just, yeah, traditions. Traditions! Anyway, uh, we need to talk to a lot of people, and uh, we need to see where we are, actually, uh, because we're clearly in a tavern sort of place. It could be a barracks. I mean, there's, yeah, it's not a tavern. It can't be a, ba a tavern. Uh, Portions of Owl's Wisdom. Hello. Hey. Hello. I had hoped that you would show up here, my friend. Indeed. I heard that Erebeth recruited you to stamp out the evil cult that was responsible for the plague. I... Uh, indeed? I, Lena, what a, ple a pleasant surprise. I thought we had parted for good, she says. But the goddess has her own plans that I must follow. 
I went back to the trade of blades to prepare myself for a journey home. I was only there a few hours when I was approached by Lady Arabeth on behalf of Lord Nasher himself. She told me that Lord Nasher is determined to root out the cult that brought so much suffering to this city. He has ordered all the mercenaries in Everwinter to come to Port Last to join in the search. Indeed, and you've brought all the people. <laughs> Good. I was afraid I might have missed you while I was changing my clothes. Well, I want you to join me again. But why do I ask about changing your clothes? Let's sh let's ask that. Oh, when I came in here, a waitress spilled some drinks. She soaked your clothes? Well, no, I, I bumped into her when the drinks crashed down. I leapt backwards into a dwarf, knocking over his ale and stew. So that messed you up? Oh no, the, the food and drinks landed on the floor, but the dwarf crashed into a half work, causing the knife he was eating with a slice, uh, with to, to slice open his cheek. That's when the brawl started. Um, and you wrenched your outfit in the brawl? Well, I managed to stay out of the brawl, hiding under a table and feeling awfully guilty. When the fight was over, I felt I should uh, help clean up the mess. So you got dirty clothes clearing up. No, I wore an apron and managed to stay pretty clean. When I, then I stepped outside for a breath of fresh air and slipped in a mud, uh, a mud puddle. So then I had to go change. Why didn't you just tell me you slipped in a puddle of, from the start? I didn't want you to think I was clumsy. No, really, you didn't. <laughs> well, I'm waiting here at the order of Lady Arabeth. So, okay, that's good. So you're working for her, huh? Yeah, Lord Nasher ordered all the... Okay, so she goes back to that. Um... No, wait a minute, she doesn't. It's a, yeah, Lord Nasher or, ordered all mercenaries to come to Port Last to the, help discover the whereabouts of the cult that nearly destroyed the city. I spent weeks wearing myself out. Wearing? Yeah. Uh, trying to help ease the suffering of plague victims. I jumped at the opportunity to bring the culprits to justice. Have you heard any rumors about the cult since uh, you've come here? I haven't heard anything specific about the cult, but I have heard about some trouble around Neverwinterwood. Really? Neverwinterwood? I don't know very much, but apparently there was a ranger in town th here that was telling of animals savagely attacking people in or around the woods. Having failed to destroy us with their terrible disease, it would hardly shock me to find out that the cult had struck with a plague of vicious animals. Is there anything else I can help you with, Kiladel? Uh, actually, are you planning to travel there? Oh, I'm not much of an investigator. I have been ordered to travel with anyone who has need of a healer. Uh, you are the one who knows how to solve mysteries, Giladel. I would love to help you, though. Uh, help you, though. I have, uh, did she say though or through? Help you, though, yeah. Uh, I have strong abilities in the art of healing, and I also can stand on my own in a fight. I would be a valuable resource for your quest. Uh, yeah, I am often in need of a skilled healer. Join me, please. Ah, it would be a pleasure. A great pleasure, Giladel. I look forward to our adventures together. I will follow you and perform the best to the best of my abilities, according to the order the orders you have given me. Anytime you wish to issue new orders, you have only to speak to me again. Indeed, Tino, uh, Lino, sorry. Welcome to the team again. And we have a lot of guys around here that, uh, yeah, we have met some of them before. I don't actually remember all of them, but this guy I do, because he's pretty powerful. He's pretty good for again uh, with a ranger, I feel, but I'm still gonna go with that. Uh, Kendrak, how's it going, man? I suppose you're here to sign up, are you? For what? I've no time for a new apprentice, however, so off you go. Well, I'm not here to apprentice for anything. Nay? Then what's a young wit like yourself come for the guild for? Your own official business? Wait, now I've placed you. You're one of the folk with the cane of the Lady Arabeth, aren't you? From Neverwinter? I apologies, lad. We got so many strangers coming through town these days, after all. Something I can do for you? Uh, who are you? Uh, my name be Kendrak, head of the guild here and mayor of Port Last, also known as the First Captain. Your name be then? Uh, pleased to meet you. My name is Giladel Valongar. Aye, the lady mentioned you. She said you be the hero, though I find that a bit hard to imagine. I'd be glad you're here, however. I have a problem someone competent like yourself might be able to help with. And, uh, there's going in it for you, but, uh, to boot. Uh, might be, you be interested? Uh, well, what's the problem? I received word from Waterdeep not long ago that a group of criminals exp exp escaped from the Bulwark prison. Dangerous bunch, killers all. According to the word, the the group uh, be split up to avoid capture, but all of them be in this region. That makes me nervous, it does. Each of them has a sizable bounty for their left ear, marked with a seal of the Bulwark to prove that they be dead. D oh, really? They mark their ears with that? Cool. It is too dangerous a task to set my own men on to it. But perhaps you might be up to the challenge? What does he think, lad? Uh, just how dangerous are these men? 
Not all be men, in fact, but be all, uh, but all are be quite dangerous or deadly. If uh, you find them, be careful. At least they be separated now and not all together. Really? So I would, I would have to bring back their ear? Aye. They be not wanted alive any longer. The seal of the prison on their ear identifies them, and it be easier than carrying the body. Oh, yeah, it is. It is true. It's, it's, I'll do it. Ah, oh, it is a relief to hear that, lad. If let free and alive, these criminals would well would uh, become a problem, I'm sure. I hope to find them all. Ah, the five be named as follows. Zor, the Sturge, Wyvern, Delilah. Is that Delilah? It is. And Yesgar. Okay, what about Zor? Zor be a Minotaur. So he, he should stick out wherever he goes. He be strong and, fierce, and a fierce warrior, but he's a wee bit simple in the head. I am told he has many friends still in Luskan. It may be that he will be there, or at least attempting to enter the city. What about Sturge? Ah, the Sturge be a strange one, a gnome thief, it is said, who believes himself to be the smartest man alive. The gnome was sighted last in the wild wildlands along the south road, though he could be anywhere there. Anywhere there? Not anywhere else? Sure. Uh, what about the Wyvern? The Wyvern is an elven man, a renowned bandit who is familiar with the ways of the wood. He be deceptive and cunning and skilled with a bow. The elf has not been sighted, but I have little doubt he be eaten within Neverwinter Woods. Best search for him there. Yeah, I need to go there. What about the Lila? A female halfling who is known to be cruel and wicked. She be an assassin who comes out of Luskan. I hear the city be closed up tight, however, so I doubt she'll be there. Last word I have of that one is that she was spotted east of town, and then all but vanished. Okay, what about Yesgar? Yesgar be a fierce half-orc murderer, and it, it were he that masterminded the escape of all these criminals. Of all the ones that, he's, uh, that have escaped, it is Yesgar who has remained the most elusive. I have not a clue where he might be, though we will not stray far. Okay, well, that's a clue right there, isn't it? Okay, um, so uh, I'd like to ask some questions. What have you heard about the plague in Everwinter? Only that it be over, lad. A mighty relief that news was uh, as well. Folks were terrified that the plague would spread to uh, to town. Do you know of anything odd in the area? Aye, we be getting reports of all kinds of strangeness in the region. Monsters rampaging, bandits traveling about all at will, uh, that sort of thing. It is most strange. I suppose maybe it's to be expected, though. Neither Neverwinter nor Luskan has the manpower to patrol uh, for patrols right now, aye? Uh, if you're asking about odd things in Port Last, mm, maybe you should speak to Nuirek at the temple. I hear the cleric has grave worries as of late. Oh, really? Okay, so that's cool. But why doesn't Luskan has manpower for patrols? The real question is why would they even have patrols? Because they are not, they are a pirate city. Would they do that? I suppose. Um, so, uh, let me ask you something else. I, I need directions. I know Port Last well, ask away. Okay, is there anything interesting in, in here that I want? No. Okay, well, I'll be going. Aye, goodbye. Okay, I can't join the guild. I was actually expecting to, but I can't. Uh, I can take this potion of endurance, and I'll take that. Can you please not? And uh, let's get, let's talk to uh, Erin Gend. This guy, is it guy or girl? It is a guy, a big guy. Uh, let's see if I save the game over here and take all that is not mine. Glittering necklace that goes over there. All of that is going to be sold. Body knock Grindle. Did I talk to him? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's have a Greetings to you. Forgive me for being so bold, but you are the one being called the champion of Neverwinter, aren't you? Well, yes, I am. I am the champion of Neverwinter. How did you know? My hypothesis was based upon your manner of dress and physical appearance, combined with the descriptions I have heard from those praising the men responsible for saving Neverwinter from the Wailing Death. Uh, well, I just I thought uh, uh, I wasn't acting alone. Arybeth and the other city guards did as much as I. Your uh, modesty is admirable, but the facts cannot be denied. Others may have been involved, but everyone is in agreement that you played a particularly crucial role. So those are the facts, huh? That everybody's in agreement? I am uh, Body Knock. No, yeah, Body Knock Gr Glinkle, quite a handful, mouthful of a name, and a gnome sorcerer from the island of Lenten. I must confess that I am not surprised to find you here, Giladel. When I heard Arybeth was recruiting people to aid in the search for the cult behind the Wailing Death, it was a simple logical step to, um, to assume you would be among us. Yeah, I guess it was. So you're working for Arybeth? 
I was in Everwinter to study the plague, it causes and if its causes and effects, so that such of a, a catastrophe might be prevented in the future. You may have discovered a cure for the plague and flushed out to those behind it, but um, the process by which the Wailing Death was spawned has not yet been determined. I am eager to solve that mystery, if only so, so such a horror can never be unleashed upon the world yet again. But that can only be accomplished if we first locate the cult. Uh-huh. Have you heard any rumors about the cult story, uh, cult since you were, you've come here? I have heard people claiming the cult has a base in the plains of to, to the south. Others insist there is undeniable evidence of the cult in the forest to the east. Still others swear the cult is hiding in the city of Luskand to the north. Obviously such rumors and hearsay are of little value. I prefer to put my faith in hard empirical evidence. Evidence I can observe with my own two eyes. And as yet I have found no evidence I consider re reliable. Hmm. But you must have an opinion of where to start looking. Well, I don't think you understand. Without the proper data to analyze my evaluation of the situation, would would it result in an hypothesis with an unacceptable margin of error? Naturally, I have formed some preliminary theories, but if I were to venture any opinion on this matter, it would be nothing more than a complete and utter guess. Well, so guess, body knock. Sometimes you've just got to play a hunch, I guess. A hunch? <laughs> you are a strange man, Giladel. But I suppose if I were forced to make a... That's supposed to have like a... This, before a sigh was in between parentheses and now this one, I think it is between uh, the little asterisks uh, or the, you know, stars or whatever. Uh, make a guess. I would say we should start our search in the Neverwinter Wood to the southeast of Fort Last. Why there? Roots, herbs, and other flora grow in abundance in the forest, many of which can be used to heal a variety of Ill illnesses. It is only logical to assume such plants can be also used to bring sickness and death. Plus, the woods are shunned by most civilized people. They believe they are haunted, making it a perfect place for a secret hideout for a large group. The Neverwinter Wood seems to be the only place that provided the seclusion and the materials that would have been necessary for the cult to bring about the Wailing Death. At least that's my best guess. Huh. Well, you seem to have some solid reasons for a guess. As I said, I had a preliminary hypothesis. However, I would not be at all surprised to find my theory would be uh, about the Neverwinter Wood to be wrong. So, uh, are you going to investigate the woods? I am an accomplished sorcerer, Giladel, but I have I also have a, a realistic understanding of my own limitations. Surviving the wilds of this region alone would be a challenge that surprises my cap capabilities. Besides, Arivath has hired us so that uh, we may serve and assist others who are more suited for heroism and great deeds. You are a well-known hero, Giladel. If I were to accompany you, I am certain my skills would be of some use. Nah, sorry, I'm not interested. Bye. Farewell, Giladel. If you find yourself requiring the services of a good sorcerer, you can find me here. Unless my services are contracted by someone else, of course. Yeah, this guy's new. That's why I didn't remember him. Because he's new. Okay, let's go. Can you guys, can you please stop that? Let's go in here and get whatever. Oh, what is this? I, sorry. Uh, I don't know what this is. Hmm. Is it a, it's, looks like a kitchen, but then again, it might be, actually. It might be. Uh, okay, so let's talk, finally, to Aaron Gend, and see what he has to say. Save the game before I do that. Hail, friend. You were instrumental in ridding Neverwinter of the Wailing Death, I understand. Allow me to congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you. You have shown yourself to be possessed of remarkable courage and resourcefulness. That is fortuitous, for both these qualities will be needed if you are to complete your mission. But that is not how we should begin. I am known as Aaron Gen, and I have served our Lord Nasher for some time. Hopefully, I may be of similar use to you now. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Gilad Elvalongar. Indeed. I know who you are. There are many who whisper your name right now, and it is my business to listen to them all. My place lies in the shadows. I have many eyes and ears throughout the Northern Lands. And it is my place to inform Lord Nasher where the Vipers lay in wait. If only I had foreseen the actions of this cult, I could have prevented the disaster. But these men move skillfully out of my sight and hearing. Instead of recriminating myself for my failure, I must do what I can to repair the damage. And that is to offer what information I have to you, so that you may find where this new nest of Vipers hides. Erebeth has informed you of where you must search, yes? Uh... She has told you of how you may root out these fiends? 
No, she said you would explain the details. Unearthing the cult will not be a simple task. What few whispers I have collected, however, have allowed me to narrow your search to this region. It is vital that the cult's exact location be found, and that we are certain any leads we discover are not attempts at deception. Erebeth will not be satisfied until we find at least two separate leads that point to the same locale. That is your task. I do know of one possible lead for you. There has been strange news regarding a series of caves that lie north of Port Last. Investigation may reveal the cult to be hidden there. If not, there are other avenues for you to investigate. The city of Luskin to the north, Neverwinter Wood to the east, and the Wildlands of the South Road. I suggest, however, that looking into the caves first would still be your wisest choice. Okay, tell me about these caves. The caves are in the hills to the north of Port Last, near the Green Griffin Inn. They have long been used by humanoid tribes of orcs, bugbears, and the like. They aren't usually a concern. I hope not. In recent months, however, I have received word that these various humanoid creatures have been raiding the roads south of Luskin. This would not be unusual, except that the creatures now seem very organized and, I hear, are being led by humans. This leads me to believe the cult may be involved. That will be for you to determine. Just keep this in mind. No matter what you find there, Erebeth will wish two firm leads on the cult's location before she will act. We cannot afford a mistake. Two firm leads? Why not just single one? What, 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 and what is a firm lead? Have you a question for me then, my yep. friend? But apparently I can't ask that one. I want to know about the other places I should search. As you wish. Uh, I what will about... certainly tell you all I know about the other places you Indeed. may need to search. Indeed. What about Luskin? Aye, a city of pirates and base villainy. Yeah. The city itself will be closed to you now. But it will be worth your while to go in that direction anyway. You should seek out the humanoid caves by the Green Griffin. Why is it Lusk? Uh, sorry, why is Lusk enclosed? Why? I heard that uh, they didn't have enough people to patrol the streets. Their gates have been sealed ever since the plague began in Neverwinter, I'm afraid. The city is quite anarchic. An outbreak there would be devastating indeed. I have been attempting to pull what strings I can to convince officials in Luskin that the plague is over. But I am having little luck so far. There's officials in Luskin. You just said that it was anarchic. Hmm. Before the gates closed, there were rumors of battles in the streets in Luskin. Who battles. knows what transpires there? With luck, I will soon arrange you a way inside to investigate. It's gonna be a city of dead people, most likely, but for a very different reason. How do I reach Luskin? The road north will lead you along the coast and directly to the city's gates. As I said, getting into the city will be more of a problem than reaching it. I know, I know. I will attempt to remedy that as soon as possible. What about the city? What do you know about it? It is known as the City of Sails, home to pirates and far worse ilk, and ruled by five high captains who maintain an uneasy balance of power. Ah, so that's the officials you were talking about. True power, however, lies in the hands of the mages of the Arcane Brotherhood within the Host Tower. <laughs> Even I know little of these men. That's a mess of a city, then. The city is powerful, anarchic, and dangerous. Luskin has challenged the Lord's Alliance more than once. Be careful when you walk its streets, for many within see strangers as easy prey. Okay, why do you think the cultists might be in Luskin? Evil men are common as coins in Luskin, my friend. This cult could walk the streets unnoticed and find many allies who would heed gold above all else. The fact that the city remains sealed even now that the plague has ended and so little word escapes its walls, has me worried of what events transpire there. Hmm. Additionally, I have been troubled by reports of humanoid banditry taking place on the road between Neverwinter and Luskin. This is unusual, and while it may simply be caused by Luskin's ignorance, it should be investigated. Is it unusual? How? I mean, there are serial pirate. Mm. Humanoid banditry, sure. Whatever. I have more questions. As you wish. What are Neverwinter Wood? Certainly, one of the deepest and most ancient woods of the North, my friend. Mm. I think it I'm is going there first. With life both beautiful and dangerous, and is tended to by the Order of Druids. 
How do I get to the Neverwinter Wood? Follow the road east of Port Last. Oh, I thought it the was south. The lands are wild and sparsely populated there. And when you reach the boundaries of the Great Forest, you will know. Uh, what do you know about the place? Like Neverwinter, the forest is warmed by the magically heated waters of the river that runs through it. It is a grand and beautiful place, I am told. Few journey through its boundaries, however, as it is said that the wood has a life of its own and is unwelcoming to outsiders. The druids of the wood watched over by the archdruid Awil are aware of all that passes within their charge. It is my hope that they can provide you aid. Uh, how do I get... I asked that already, didn't I? I asked about how I got there before. Let's see. What do you know about the place? Tell me... Uh, no, I didn't. How do... He said that already. How do I get to Neverwinter Wood? Follow the road east of Port Last. Yeah. The lands are wild yeah. and sparsely populated. So why do you think the cultists might be there? The Archdruid Awil has sent several letters to Lord Nasher as of late, begging for aid against some unknown force that assails the wood. Lord Nasher would have provided the help the Archdruid required, but could not due to the chaos within the city. Neverwinter must come first. Awil has sent no more messages in recent days. And it is possible that the druids exist no more. The ex it may, however. So this may be an excellent avenue for you to search. Whatever has occurred, my friend, expect the worst. Hmm. I, I cut him short. The exact dangers that was being faced was not being explained. The cult may not even be involved. Yeah, I'm thinking it might not. So I think I'm going there immediately. Um, the druids exist no more. Yeah, that's why I'm going there. So, that's that? What about As the other places? Wish. What is South I Road? Certain. The road leads eventually home to Neverwinter. Ah. But before that lay many miles of wildlands, as well as the village of Charwood. Hmm. The cult could hide in many places there. How do I get there? The southern road is not so much a place you go to, my friend. No, as Charwood. It is a route you take. I know. It will lead you eventually to Neverwinter. But it is the region itself that concerns me. What do you know about the place? Very little. There has been little news from the village of Charwood for many years, I understand. It may have been deserted, for all I can tell. Didn't you take the road here? Ruins will be common, and it is said that other, stranger creatures may have made these wildlands their home. A powerful wizard is even said to have taken residence. Hmm. Why do you think the cultists might be there? I have no reports from this area. None. This disturbs me perhaps more than it should, as the cult could exist openly here, and I would not even know. Makes sense. I offer the South Road as a possibility mostly out of speculation, my friend. I simply would not wish to leave it out entirely, just in case my suspicions have good reason. Okay, well, thank you very much for your help. I think I'll go now. May the luck of the gods be yours, my friend. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going, with all that said, I think really the, uh, Easter, the Neverwinter Wood probably doesn't have anything. Uh, she wants to go there, he wants to go there, uh, he says that he might not even have anything to do with the cultists, so I'm pretty sure the Neverwinter Wood is not gonna be where the cultists are. So I'm going there, and I think that's the decision I made the first time I played the game as well. And it was in the Neverwinter Wood that I stopped playing the game. Hey, hey, hello, sir, are you an adventurer? You don't... Look like one. Me and my pa could really use some help, though. If you are, uh, calm down. What seems to be the problem? Well, me and my pa, his name is Gerald. Everyone in Port Last knows him. We live on a farm just north on the of the town gates. There's lots of monsters that live in the hills around our farm. Normally they don't bother us so much, but lately they've been ambushing travelers and caravans and such, being real bold. They even went and kidnapped my mother while me and pa were away from the farm last week. So my pa sent me to town to get help. Really? Uh, I... Well, you want me to find your mother? We just need your help. All I ask is that you go and talk to my pa, Gerald, nothing else. Okay, you don't want me to find your mother. I, I'm very stupid, don't worry. <laughs> okay, he wants... I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, he wants me to... But first he wants me to... Fo okay, so fine, I'll help, I'll help. Oh, that'll be great, my lord. I, I'm sure my pa would appreciate it. To get to our farm, you just need to go through the north gate and follow the road a bit. I'll stay here for now and find some more people to send to Pa until he calls me back. I'm sure you'll do the trick, though. Just go and talk to him. Okay, so you'll, you'll just talk to all the people that you meet. There's a peasant over there. Although, I, I, I understand that you don't want to talk to him. He doesn't seem very healthy. 
So this, oh boy, this is a huge place. We got a gate over there that see, it sends us to somewhere. We got people all over the place. Mm hmm It is quite a big place. And I think we can see the city of Luskan through here. I'm not really sure. Let me look at the map. Oh, my God. Yep. This is a big place. We have a temple. We need to go there. We have the Alliance Arms Inn. Not the Friendly Arms Inn. That's a different Arms Inn. I wonder if that's actually lore, the Alliance Arms Inn, or if it was made up for this uh, for this game. Because I, I do know that the Friendly Arms Inn is a... Is a the Friendly Arm Inn uh, is a different... Uh, is a, a lore-based... Um, tavern as it were it's a pretty big castle as well uh but yeah that's gonna be that for this episode we are now outside and we have a lot of places to go we are in chapter two full-on never winter nights for now i'm colonel rpg and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did and you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later be sure to leave a like down below to let me know leave a comment as well while you're at it but above all thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next episode Bye bye